if you're time poor, like many of us out there, here's a great little tip to do a one pan wonder with chicken. Now, I'm a big fan of chicken thigh, and I've got four chicken thighs here, and the bone has been taken out. Chicken thigh is really forgiving when it's cooked in the oven because there's a little bit of fat in it, so it doesn't dry out in the oven. Now, I'm going to cut these thighs in half, and this is a perfect amount for a family of four. So straight into a big baking dish like I have here. I've also preheated my oven to 200 degrees. It needs to be hot because we're doing a one pan roast. And classic flavours to go with this. Spread out the chicken. I want the skin side up because I want that to go crispy. Some tomatoes. I'm not even going to cut them. I want them to go straight in as is because they're also going to help in making a delicious sauce to go with this. Also some potatoes. Now I've parboiled some Kipfler potatoes here. Some of the bigger ones here I'm going to break in half. So just spread them out. And some herbs, oregano. I'm just going to rip fresh oregano into this bake. Spread it out. And some garlic, loads of garlic. And instead of peeling it, again, this is a fast dinner. So just breaking them up, bruising them. In they go, along with some salt, a good pinch of salt there, good crack of pepper, and just a drizzle of olive oil. Now this is really starting to take shape, but I need two more ingredients in this to finish off this lovely sauce that's going to form after this is cooked. So just some butter and white wine. So I'll just pour that in the base there. And this for me is what I call real fast food because all of the flavours in there, it's quite healthy for you. One pan, very little washing up. Into the oven, 200 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes or until everything is golden brown and the house smells wonderful of oregano. This is looking good. You can see that that chicken skin has blistered quite nicely. These potatoes are golden brown. And the best part for me is this wonderful garlic that's become really, really soft and sweet. I love garlic when it's cooked. Also, these tomatoes. I get a fork just before serving this and I serve it in the pan, squish those tomatoes, and all the juice will come out and finish off that sauce in the bottom there. It's just a simple pan sauce, but it's a sauce that tastes so nice because the juices of the chicken are in there, the white wine, and a little bit of that butter. Now, finally, just before taking it to the table, add a few little fresh sprigs of that oregano and a good squeeze of lemon to finish it. And that's five minutes of preparation time, one pan, chicken dinner that tastes sensational. You can make this for two people or 20 people. The labour in this is very minimal for great taste.